Hey folks, what it is? Just going for my morning walk here. It's about 54 degrees, at least Google. Google, Google told me that it's 54 degrees Fahrenheit, which is also what Google told me is 12 degrees Celsius. One of these days I'll be able to not have to ask Google what the temperature is in Celsius because I don't know, I'm not that smart. Excuse me. Yeah, so it's nice and quiet out today. It's a couple cars, Halloween-y morning. Going for a little walk here. You know, yesterday I got that ring light, not ring light, um, a strip light. Not a stripper light, a strip light. It's $39.99. And I was real, like, critical, you know, because I couldn't, you know, I couldn't tell whether it looked good or not. And, uh, but on playback, you know, I did a live yesterday um, for a few minutes. And, uh, geez, 3,000, no. At one point, 4,000 people were on there. Pretty bitching. 4,000 meaning four. Um, yeah. But on playback, didn't look too bad. You know? I just want a subtle look. You know, just to add a little tiny, tiny more excitement than just, you know, nothing. You know? But I'm not going to go. Like I said, I'm not going to go all out and you know deck things out it's just it's not my jam guys boys and girls what's that again ladies and gentlemen boys and girls children of all ages i'm wearing a sweater i'm wearing my little hoodie thing here but i have a short sleeve shirt on it's a little chilly for 54 degrees Fahrenheit 12 degrees Celsius but I guess uh, it's too late now I'm not I'm gonna continue my journey that way and then I'm gonna go back that way I'll probably get about a mile and a half out of it that's healthy enough for an unhealthy guy who smokes cigarettes didn't bring any with me chances are you won't see me ever smoking on camera that's not my jam either um, I don't have a reason behind that. But yeah, yesterday, you know, we went to uh, we went to Kohl's and uh, I'd never been in there. And uh, the store isn't too bad. They're, they have, I mean, I, I haven't gone clothes shopping in literally like a couple years, you know, and uh, by choice. And um, yeah, it was pretty cool. You know, Korean got a whole bunch of stuff. Um, some really cool sweats, sweatpants with pockets, branded the Beatles, and uh, a bunch of other things. I got my, I got, I got two pairs of jeans and three t-shirts. Hello. Here. And uh, see this dude's walking down the street wearing his mask. Huh. <laughs> Whatever. Um, it's like you see people driving in their car by themselves with the windows rolled up, wearing their mask. What a trip. Look at the beautiful sky behind me. Wow. It looks better on the camera than it does me looking. But... Hold on a second. I'll be right back. So yeah, Chick-fil-A is closed on Sundays. Sure, all you know that. But if you don't, yeah. Best Christian based company. They franchise your stuff out. Uh, oh yeah, anyways, back to the back to the Coles. The Coles shopping excursion. I gotta get my hand off the other side of the mic. Uh, yeah, so they had this deal like at the counter if you apply for the Coles credit card you get 45% off um, but I don't want a Kohl's credit card so what I did you know, she's all the lady also said if you're not approved you still I'll still give you the 45% off 
just don't tell anybody. So what I did, I pulled a sneaky so I wouldn't get approved. And I, uh, I gave them a little bit of false information. I jumbled up a couple things. And uh, so yeah, I didn't go through the system. 45% off. So the, the bill in total with Karina's clothes haul, my clothes kind of haul because it was three pairs of pants or two pairs of pants, three shirts. Um, it was two hundred dollars, one hundred ninety nine, one hundred ninety something. So that forty five percent off, we walk out of there with a lot of clothes for you know, kind of sixteen foot foo foo light for my world famous award winning YouTube channel. Uh, walk out of there, 110 bucks. 110 smackaroonies, I'm scratching my face. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that was cool. Um, the thing is, like, we try and make the best out of every, every weekend. Make the best out of every day, but make the best out of every weekend. But when we go out, we always spend so much money. It's, it's expensive here in the Bay Area. Um, plus you're dealing with this thing called inflation that friggin happened all right sure enough did you know what's weird it's like you can have an off name gas station like not a brand gas station and then like okay the gas is like i don't know 419 a gallon and then directly across the street's an arco and that's like like 479 a gallon now you'd think that they would all try and compete with each other I don't know. I don't, I don't understand that. You know, the gas station. Now, when I lived in New Hampshire, I lived uh, one one of the places we lived in. I lived right next door to a gas station. You know, little go to place. You know, hang out with the people that work there. Whatever. Shoot the bobo. Now, what they would do is in the morning. It wasn't a twenty four hour gas station convenience store. It was a. You know, they had they had closing hours, but. In the morning, whoever was going to open the store, they would look down the street at the Cumberland Farms gas station and see what their prices are. And then they'd call their boss and say, okay, this is this much a gallon. And this is back when, what, 2000, 2020, 2019, 2020, gas was like two something a gallon. <clears throat> so they'd, they'd look at the price and, uh, of the competitor down the street. And, um, what's this guy doing working on a Sunday? Um, and yeah, they call the boss and tell the boss and the boss would uh, say, yeah, give, they give him the green light and they change their price for the day. You gotta keep up with the competition. But <clears throat> yeah, it's so, ex <clears throat> so expensive out here. The cost of living out here is just stupid. But there's a lot to do. There's a lot of variety here. You know, I love New Hampshire. You know, I lived in this, I went from a big city to a to a small town of thirty thousand people, and uh, we're still considered a city. Uh, but you're limited. You know, your restaurants are limited. I mean, there's a lot of nice, you know, privately owned restaurants, which was cool. Let's say there's fifteen of them. Or so, I'm just throwing that number out there, 15 nice sit-down restaurants in the downtown Rochester area and throughout the city. But you can only eat at them so, so, so many times. I mean, like China Palace, good Chinese food, even though it's Americanized Chinese food. We, would, we used to go there all the time, you know. And that's the only place that we really went to a lot. The other ones, hmm. Not so much, it was good, you know, but you get kind of, get kind of burned out. So, and then yesterday we went to the Sizzler out here, haven't been in one of those in years. And uh, it wasn't a mistake to go, but we're probably not gonna, we're probably not gonna uh, be heading back there. It's a little warm. Ta-da! Uh, I give it a C rating. We got to see. Sorry. You know, it's funny is when 
And I, I brought this up to Karina when we were when we were sitting down waiting for our meal. The guy at the counter, because you have to order at the counter. I didn't mention this in yesterday's live. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> kind of for me, it kind of throws up a red flag when they're handing you your debit card back and the and the guy taking your order says, "I hope you enjoy." Yeah, threw up a red flag for me right there. It's like, oh shit. And then I overheard the next group of people coming in and they took their orders at the counter there. He said the same thing. I hope you enjoy it. Words are meaningful. You know, it should be like, enjoy your meal, enjoy your meal, sir. You know, enjoy your meal, ma'am. Or hey folks, enjoy. Not, I hope you enjoy it. Because chances are, uh, it's gonna be mediocre, which it was. And uh, but it was okay. I, we, we got we got we got the take home box. You know, finish that up later. I think it was better the second time around than the first time. Maybe the microwave did something to it to make it better. But uh, so today, I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure what we're going to be doing. Karina's is fast asleep. Oh, she doesn't work tonight. So that's a good thing. She, you know, her, her boss. The type of work, the, the line of work that Karina does is, she's got to, she's got to have thick skin for her job. One of her clients is, I think they're probably on their way out, um, meaning going up there soon, but very hard to manage. And, um, you know, takes a toll on her. She didn't sleep last night. So she told her boss, it's like, you know, I need some rest you know so he said so he let her have uh tonight off so we're gonna have all day today i'm not sure what we're gonna do i just don't want to go out and spend a whole lot of money <laughs> um i'm gonna work tomorrow back to normal back to normal folks all right this has been a long enough uh video here and uh people are starting to come about here so until next time folks hey thanks again for watching and I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. And until next time, folks, see you.